Hi everyone, my name is Yewande Mabinori Adeojo and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be speaking on how to overcome interview nervousness. It is important to understand that your body is one of the most effective tools of communication that you have. I mean, that's the major reason why they want to meet you, to interview you, to understand the kind of person that you are, to get a sense of you, to get a feel of your character, get a feel of your personality. I mean, your physical presence at an interview plays an important role on your effectiveness, on the kind of person that you are. And so it's very important that if you're nervous, you don't show it or you try your best to reduce it from, you know, coming out. So today we're going to talk about how to not show that you're nervous during an interview. So if you've gone for an interview before and you notice that you started having sweaty palms, your heart beat was your heart was beating faster than usual. Your, I mean, you're having shortness of breath. Your mouth is dry. You're shaking. Your voice is shaking. You're having butterflies. All that is just your body's natural way of reacting to the situation. Your body is aware of what is about to happen because I mean, you've had interview in your mind possibly for like previous days or the week before. You knew that date. You marked the date in your head. So as soon as that day is approaching, the night before that day, that's when everything will just start to go wrong. That's when the nepa will take like the shirt you want to wear, you've not ironed it. You're just, you're just exhibiting nervous traits. So we're going to talk about how to avoid them and how to work with them even if you're nervous. So you look less nervous than you currently do. So the first thing you need to do is to map out your anxiety. You need to think of that thing that you do when you're nervous because it's different for everybody. A lot of people have similar ones. But it's different for everybody for me when i'm nervous i sweat and my mouth becomes dry and my voice starts to shake so you need to know what you exhibit when you're nervous so that you can work through it if your voice is if you know your voice shakes when you're nervous what you need to do is project speak louder the louder you speak the bolder you appear so even if your voice is shaking they, they, they still get a sense that you are bold or you're confident. They forget the shaky voice. It's when your voice is shaking and then your own voice is now low, but it becomes worse. Um, if you know that you sweat a lot, you need to make sure that what you're wearing is something that will not show. So wear dark colors. Don't wear anything that will leave <laughs> a sweat mark. Um, what else did I say? So you're sweating, your voice is shaking. If you're having butterfly, for me, yes, I said um, dry mouth. If you have a dry mouth, drink water make sure you go with a bottle of water or when you arrive ask for a cup of water don't drink too much just drink when you get there and you know that you're about to start talking and much just needs to become dry just ask oh can i have a glass of water or there will be a dispenser there before you go in before it's your turn just quickly take a glass i'm saying don't drink too much so that you don't feel the need to use the restroom while you're sitting in there so just drink the water when you get there and you feel better you calm down the second thing is to think positively. Don't just jump and assume the worst at people's reactions. I mean, once you walk in and the receptionist spoke to you, some other people just said, maybe you entered. First thing, you enter, you see five people sitting down. <laughs> Don't think the worst. Don't start to map out what each person is wearing and start to assume and start, ah, this person looks older than me. They're likely to get the job. Oh, this is a lady. They probably want a lady and a guy. Get all those negative thoughts also out of your head like completely when you enter just sit down just be calm think positively don't assume don't think because someone raised their eyebrow they think they said something silly just understand and believe yourself that you are making sense i think that's the most important thing don't just assume based on people's reactions people react differently to information it's because they like watching that they may even raise their eyebrow it doesn't mean that you did not make any sense or you said something bad so try to take out all negative thoughts don't start to assume ah as i'm leaving my house now hope is not that there won't be boss hope is not that water will splash on me hope is not that my car battery will not work hey i didn't service my car the other day hope my car won't break down get it out of your head because you're only going to make it worse so <laughs> try to just stay calm stay positive and relax it will be fine so the next thing is to be aware and mindful of what you eat and drink um, try and avoid food and drinks that have a lot of sugar caffeine or alcohol in the case of caffeine i mean if you're used to taking coffee normally and it works for you that's fine if you really take tea and then today you decide okay you want to wake up or you want to be awake or alert and then you decide to take coffee 
it might not be the best advice because coffee can make you jittery so try to avoid taking anything that would make you extra jumpy um, also try to avoid cold drinks like very cold drinks because it can affect your vocal cords and just make your voice cracked up or start making you want to <coughs> you know <laughs> clear your throat so just avoid and be aware of what you're eating and drinking before this interview so the next thing is to have a little strategy in your head for how you want to introduce yourself I mean that's more than likely the first question they're going to ask you is let us meet you introduce yourself so don't plan a speech don't write an essay because you might cram it and forget just have bullet points of what you know you want to talk about your name your age where you're from and i'm saying these things because sometimes when you enter you forget your name altogether so just have that you know bullet point of okay name age where i'm from what i do a bit of my education what i do and then maybe an achievement or two as it pertains to you know what you do and the field or the job that you're applying for so last but not least is have that support system that you can talk to just to get your mind off things if it's your friend if it's your sister your brother for me it's my sister just chat with that person call that person whatever it is you can do surely if it's an interview where you have to wait your turn just take your mind off it i mean don't start to rethink and rethink and recram and just you know work yourself up while you're waiting take your mind off talk to someone else and you'll be fine <laughs> so thank you for watching hope this helps please share what makes you nervous i really want to know for me i have plenty i think four is plenty i think i just mentioned three earlier i sweat my mouth gets dry my voice shakes and i think i have butterflies as well i think those are like the four main ones i can remember so please share what you do and let's just you know chat about it let me know if this helps and let us also know what you do when you're nervous that calms you down thank you and please hit the subscribe button thank you bye